You are back at Dirty Laundry, and we are putting the sisters against each other, Kendall Jenner versus Kylie Jenner, who wore it better on the street. Let's do this. I actually really love this look. You know, I think this is great. You know, do the crop top, it's fitted, the tear up jeans, and she still wanted to dress it up because you know she's a Jenner. She looks like Kim Kardashian. She has the whole coat, which Kim says she wore when she was pregnant. She has a beautiful body, and instead she's covering it up in weird ways. Love the heels. Really sexy. I like the gray coat. The gray on gray is fine. Kylie's walking in front of Tyga like she doesn't even know him. I feel like anytime you see a picture of Kylie, you see Tyga in the background somewhere, and he's kind of just turned into a hype man where he's in the back like, that's my girl. I love the boyfriend jeans. No, Kylie, your 80s mom jeans are not a good look. I feel like most people can't get away with them, especially in the butt area. When you wear boyfriend jeans, you always have saggy booty, but she covered it up with the long coat. Smart. Her glasses are cute. I think sunglasses should be worn during daylight hours in the outdoors. But you know what they say, when you're a superstar, you wear sunglasses at night. I want to be her when I grow up. Is she 18? She's, oh. Yeah, I still want to be her when I grow up. You would think Kylie is the star of the show right now, but both her bodyguard and her boyfriend are looking off somewhere else. So I'm assuming there's some chick that's even hotter than Kylie behind her, but she can't tell because she's wearing the sunglasses. Her style has like a hair of video girl, where like Kendall's more high fashion. This is a really cute outfit. I love these leather pants, these high top, sexy black boots, and this fur. Usually I'm not a fan of fur or fake fur. I just, it's not my thing, but Kendall pulls this off. Peter would not love this. How do you know it's real? I can tell it's real. I'm hoping this is faux fur because we uh, are not animal killers up in here. Doesn't that look like a raccoon that's on her with like maybe a red fox? I don't really want to think about what animal it with is. With a side of mink. She does kind of look like she's wearing a beaver on her arms. It's a little weird. She's just wearing black with a fur jacket and she looks flawless. She could literally go on a red carpet like this or on a date or go bike riding with Taylor Swift. It all works. Kendall loves the top knot. She's super natural. She just throws her hair into a bun. She wears barely any makeup and she looks incredible. I mean, it doesn't look bad. I just think it's not ethically correct to have, you know, fur, and especially when, you know, they have so much power to promote something great. Like pleather. I freaking love pleather. Me too, pleather yeah. is the shit, dude. We're in on pleather. She again looks kind of somber, but without any makeup, she looks stunning. She doesn't have to do a lot to look good. I'm all about it. I don't know how I feel about this outfit. I really do like Kylie Jenner's sense of style, but I have to say, I'm not a really big fan of this look. I don't care about this look. Like, this is something that doesn't ignite any passion in my body. I don't mind the gray dress as much as the belt. It just doesn't go together. Just because you're a celebrity doesn't mean that you can just put a dress and squeeze it together with a gold chain. I'm not crazy about the random chain belt that looks like you could tie someone up with it. The way she threw it on there definitely gives it that Brooklyn Real Housewives of New York type feel. And it just doesn't go with the shoes for me. But I love the black lace-up shoes. I'm pretty sure those glasses are probably more than my car payment. Not that I think if Kylie drops anything, she picks it up herself. But if she did, everything would be out. Ass, vagina. Those are two things she probably has. Yeah. I mean, I think she's trying to look expensive, but not in like that luxe way. She just looks like a mom in Glendale who's picking up her kids from the nanny's house. <laughs> when you're Kylie Jenner, you can really wear whatever you want. Why, where is she wearing that to? This shit gets dressed up to go to the bathroom, I swear. I, it just, this whole outfit looks funny to me, but you know what? Who cares? Do what you want to do. That's super cute. You might hate me, but I kind of love this. It's completely different from anything I've ever seen. It's got a good movement to it. It's just enough fabric. It shows just enough skin. It's a little potato sacky, but if I was to wear a white potato sack, that's the one I would wear. I mean, the slit's not like all the way up. If the slit was like two inches higher, then we would know that this was Kylie. Who looks that good getting into their car? Also, who has that nice of a car? I kind of like the overall vibe. She's rocking the high pony. She has the glasses which is perfectly accessorized for me. She's got the little bracelet. The crop tops are super trendy right now. If I was a girl, I would be all over crop tops. I think the bodyguard in the back likes it too. He's like, yeah, Kendall, get it. That's what he thinks of this outfit. You slay, girl. Mmm. Kylie, no. That is not a good picture of her. <laughs> I don't know why that reminds you of Flava Flav. I actually really love this look. I love a blazer on a girl. I think the cut of the outfit is great. The pattern is a little too much. You wanna play chess on her chest? <laughs> <laughs> the purse looks like a dead animal or it's got like some weave glued onto it or something. So I'm, not, I'm not sure how I feel about that purse. And the shoes are, no. This whole outfit is terrible. 
It's really hard to be positive on this one. I know, this is really bad. All right, so I think Kylie Jenner is the epitome of what girls want to be nowadays, but these checkers are not for me. I love Kylie, she's gorgeous, but I agree with you. This outfit is actually not the best I've seen of her. Matching blazer and shorts. It's a winning look. Okay, I absolutely hate this. Is this what we're talking about right now? See, I love Kendall, but this is just kind of confuses me. Normally, I think Kendall is fashion goals, but right now, this is fashion no. There's just a lot of fabric. The fur is wrong, the shirt's baggy, I don't know what's going on with the pants, they're too long, her heels are stepping on them, I don't like the glasses, the hair's plaited to her face, I love you, just not the look. I don't understand the turtleneck with the fur, with the all black. Her brows look great. <laughs> her brows are hidden by those spy sunglasses. This is Mugatu from Zoolander, Will Ferrell's character. It's exactly who she is. And she built the school and he's like, what is this, a school for ants? I don't get it. Oh, maybe Kylie. I think this is where Kylie kind of copies her sister Kim a little bit. This totally looks like a Kim Kardashian look to me. You have the tight fitted dress, the high knee boots. Is that a dress or a shirt? I love that red dress. This is a great dress. It fits her in the shoulders. It's the right proportion on the sleeve. It's age appropriate, I would say, because it's not revealing too much, which we normally see Kylie do. The dress is a winner. Her legs look flawless. And those boots are awesome. I think those shoes are kind of heinous. I think those are socks. I like the shoes. Not the boots. The fur's a little excessive. But the red dress, all day. Someone can let me know how much those are. I. Might put an eBay bid on there. And that U-shaped hem is super flattering for a curvy girl, so she totally understands this. Again, she is holding a dead animal. More fur. I love her so much until I open her Snapchat and I'm like, oh. oh Snapchat? Oh my God, it's such a bad choice, but it's almost like. Like a train wreck, you just can't look away. Yeah, or like chocolate or cocaine, like you just can't <laughs> stop. Again, I don't know where she wears, like who midday is in a freaking red dress with heels? It's very cute, I love this look. She looks hot. I love this outfit. I love Kendall in this photo because she just looks nerdy chic, I guess you would say. This is pretty adorable. She definitely doesn't need glasses, but good for her for looking smart. She has these fun glasses on and these pants. I've never seen anything like these pants before. I wouldn't be able to get those pants up like over my ass. <laughs> like, they're new and innovative, just the way the buttons and how high top they are. Oh my God, she looks like an owl. <laughs> Everything about her looks like the owl that licks Tootsie Pops. Where is she? Why are there photos everywhere? This is this is awkward. It looks like this might be a, like a snapshot of Sunny and Cher a little bit. Like an old fashioned photo from like Audrey Hepburn or something. I mean, if Audrey Hepburn was like a hair sexier. It kind of does look like it's 70s and I'm totally digging it. 70s was in. 70s is when everybody's like, I don't care about what anybody says. Let's have fun, do what we want. And that's very much who Kendall is, really. She also looks like a really cool barista. You know, like I would order an <laughs> she, almond milk uh, latte from she, her like that. Yeah, she looks hipster as f Here's Kendall Jenner saying, I'm nerdy, I'm geeky, I'm one of you. Actually, I'm not really one of you, but you can dream. Yeah, she's definitely going for a, uh, I'm the girl next door who lives in a $8 million mansion and owns the world that has that look. I don't think anybody else could really put the nerdy glasses with that fashion outfit, but it works for her totally. I gotta give it to her. Go Kendall. Well, obviously I think Kendall wore it best, but I wanna know what you think. If you think I'm wrong, let us know in the comment section below and then come back every single week and do not forget to subscribe. And if you want more clever action, click to the left to find out where the cast of High School Musical is 10 years later. Or click to the right to see me cut my own hair and then cut Lily's hair on a crazy episode of Beauty Break.